right, and we are back with your Shaq News Game of the Year 2022 nominations and inspiration. And wow, we've got a brand new category for you this year. That's right. It's our Pop Goes the Culture Presents Best Adaptation category. Donovan and Greg, co-hosts of Pop Goes the Culture. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a category inspired by your show. And uh, we're going to talk about not games, but actually TV and film things that are based off of games. And we have a couple uh, nominations to get through. So why don't we get right to it? Who would like to go first? I can, I can quickly do one. If, if no one else wants to speak first. Yep. Um, the Halo TV show launched this year. Didn't receive like super um, fanfare, but I will, as a Halo fan, it was cool. <laughs> it was cool to see a Halo TV show like finally come on air. Um, you was know, it there's really? Been, there's been a come some other ones. Like it was fun seeing Master Chief fight. Uh, like there's plenty to be said about some of okay. the, what the about choices, some... for instance, like Master Chief uh, sleeping with Master... an enemy spy. That's while yeah. his mom watches. Yeah, while well, his. Mom, well, is, ma- yeah. ma- maternal figure at the very least. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Master Chief but... claps cheeks in this. <laughs> it's. I, I mean, wow, really? Is it... Man, Sam, do you have a Halo tattoo like somewhere on your body? <laughs> because um, I feel I... like you would need to be at that level to like have to like just like have this denial being so much denial about the halo series sam it's i enjoyed it man what can i say okay I, like i didn't think it was super okay. great but i was like look let's get some popcorn and i'm gonna have some fun that's where i'm at with it yeah i mean that's cool <laughs> I, I mean there are moments that are neat i just feel like it's a lot of filler in between the neat moments you know like uh some of the stuff they did with the covenant I thought it was a little odd too, um, but I mean, from a visual standpoint, from a graphic standpoint, like they've got some really good CGI going on, and the action moments are actiony. It's just I don't all the stuff that happens outside of the action can kind of toss off, so to speak, um, for me at least. Uh, that's just me, and I feel like uh, nobody. I don't know if anybody else really wants to back uh, back you up here. Does that, did anyone else like the show? Crickets. I guess we'll find out when it comes time to vote, right? I guess so. But for now, it's just crickets. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the that Mew Stallone show was getting more traction than uh, Tulsa King. Yeah, I, mean, I think yeah. Tulsa King got got bigger buzz than a Halo TV show, which is. Something. It's just a show about Sylvester Stallone getting high and beating people up in Tulsa. I mean, what's not to love? And there, all right. Well, I mean, you did it, Sam. You stuck up. You stuck up for Mr. Chief. We're proud of you. Uh, let's let's keep moving down the line. Uh, who'd like to go next? All right. Well, I'll I'll go next. Uh, I'm going with the Cuphead. Show. Uh, the Cuphead show is a fantastic adaptation, and it really nails that old time, old time cartoon vibe, like early, like Looney Tunes era animation and stuff like that. But it has a lot of modern humor in it as well, and it looks fantastic. It's well written. It's well voice acted. Uh, it's on. I mean, it's on par with the game. You know. When it comes when it comes to what it's doing from a visual standpoint, at the very very least, and even the humor is is still very similar. So uh, yeah, good, 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 good animated series. Also, one of the more family friendly things on this list uh, this year. So I feel like you know there's a little more universal appeal to it. But uh, that's that's my nomination. I did enjoy Wayne Brady on it too. Yeah, who, does, voice cast. Is, it, is he the dice guy? Yeah. Yeah. He's dice. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I just thought. To, yeah. um, just to really get under my co-host Greg's skin, I'll nominate Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Had a lot of fun <laughs> watching that. Very enjoyable video game movie. Um, and they're making more. So, uh, Idris, Idris Alba is a dreamboat, even when he's pink echidna, you know? There's a few nominations for Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Did anybody, um, has anybody, can someone speak to that who's either nominated or watched it? Um, I mean, so, I'm, okay. I think it's impressive the fact that not only was the show so well received and did so well, but it like bumped up the game as well. Because Cyberpunk 2077 had some issues. And I think that the resurgence of, of, love for it after edge runners was just really commendable so not only was the show good but it had like a, a byproduct effect on the game so i i nominated edge runner it really edge did runner. and i um i noticed uh like you can actually track the steam charts of players in cyberpunk um, and there's a direct correlation between Edge Runners releasing and that. So it is kind of interesting. And I know that there was some crossover content in the game and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool as well. That um, not only was this show well received, but it also like did a solid to the game and like sort of like breathed new life into it when, to your point, it had it had, had some struggles and maybe there were some people such as myself who didn't trust it. Um, and it really needed something to sort of like shine the spotlight back on it. And Edge Runners, at the very least, did that. I think yeah. um, Edge Runners is also like the blueprint to do good video game adaptations because you take this very uh, cool world in Cyberpunk, you pair it with a very uh, talented studio and Studio Trigger, and you kind of let them tell their own unique uh, story there, and it really works out. Yeah, honestly. I wasn't. I liked the animation, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I thought it was, but I also that the plot was. I thought the plot was a little too anime y, and then they they did a lot of like anime trope stuff, like like a, a ton of fan service and stuff like that. Just some of the some of the more gratuitous shots, I thought weren't necessary. Um. I don't I don't know. It just didn't it didn't hit me, but like it just felt like very generic anime, I think, from like a plot standpoint, as far as I was concerned. Um but if you don't watch a lot of anime, it probably feels more unique. And I think that it pulled in a lot of pe viewers just based off of the fact that it was cyberpunk more than it was like an anime series. There you go. I think that might be it. Is that it? Did we just get through it? Does anyone want to say anything else about this? You keep cutting out, so I don't know what you want us to say more about. Does, does anyone want to say anything else about Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic? I'm glad uh, it was better than the first one. It's a movie. Mm, as, I think it gave people what they wanted from a Sonic movie. So I, it, it didn't disappoint in that regard. I, I, right. I enjoyed it. Speaking very passionately about Sonic 2, I have a feeling it might take home the W, the way folks are talking about it already, getting hyped up. Well, I guess we're ready to vote. Um, uh, how, you feel like starting us off here, Denny? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm going to go with Sonic 2. I think there are some other nominations that are, are good. Uh, I do agree with Morgan as far as uh, people getting the cyberpunk more now after seeing the show. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Sonic 2 makes sense. All right, Donovan. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Thank you very much. Great, you're voting for Sonic, right? I'm going to do Cuphead. All right. TJ. Bonk. I love that movie. What, Sonic? Yeah. All right, Morgan. I give it to edge runners living on the edge runners build a boy i'm gonna thank morgan for getting us back on track here uh, i'm also gonna vote for cyberpunk edge runners all right sam chandler 
um, after falling off of Cyberpunk pretty hard when it first came out, Edrunners has reignited my desire to dive straight back in. Put me down for it. All right, I'm going with the Cuphead show. Uh, Steve, I'm going Cyberpunk. You are going cyberpunk. You're the most cyberpunk dude I know. Yes, I am so cyberpunk right now. <laughs> cyberpunk as fuck, man. It's crazy. Uh, David Craddock, you're already pretty cyberpunk. I am. Uh, this is tough for me. I don't watch much. I haven't seen any of these, but I've seen trailers, and I think cyberpunk's uh, visual style looks pretty cool, so I'll go with Edge Runners. All right. And uh, let's see. Let's get in our absentee nominees. I know Austin for Punk, Edge Runners, and I know that Ozzy voted for the Cuphead show. Um, wow, you know, uh, we got two Netflix shows here, and uh, I think two Paramount, movies, right? Wasn't it Paramount? Correct. All right. Um, Sam, did you vote for Halo? No, I voted for Edge Runners, man. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Uh, as a matter of fact, you voted for the winner of Edge Runners over uh, Cyberpunk Edge, or over Cuphead, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Halo. Congratulations, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. You are Pop Goes the Culture's best adaptation of 2022. Psycho <laughs> that. <laughs> 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 